Good morning, friends. Miss Coconower here and Lucy. Um, Nate, my youngest son, is over there dancing in front of Lucy's tank right now. Um, and she is very engaged watching him to see what he's doing. I think he's also dancing with one of our random axolotl salamanders. So you may see his little face pop in in a second. Um, I did want to hit the highs and lows of ownership of an axolotl. I have had a lot of friends email and ask, oh, where can I get my own axolotl? Well, y'all, we need to talk about it first because they're not as easy as they look. First off, they're amphibians and their skin is extremely sensitive. So what does that mean? Well, that means you gotta watch that water level and you've gotta be able to understand the life cycle of um, cycling the water. If your nitrates are too high, it's gonna burn their skin. Um, and the nitrates like their poop basically. So you have to get good bacteria built up in your tank before you can ever put your axolotl in there. It took our tank six weeks to cycle with a starter fish that we got at the aquarium where we got Lucy. Um, and it was just a big goldfish, but that goldfish helped build our tank quicker. If you don't use a goldfish, you have to use special chemicals that you can order to help build up the cycling and make sure that your nitrates and ammonia are balanced. Um, now with Lucy's tank, because it is balanced, I check it every couple of days. Um, we check it with strips to make sure nothing's too high or low. If it is, I adjust with a water change. Um, every week we do a 25% water change. And also sometimes I have to add like new water with Prime, which is a chemical that gets rid of the chlorine from our tap water. And sometimes I even have to add things like um, pH balancer, like powder. So sometimes if you're looking at her tank, you'll see a white powder. And that's because her the pH was too high and I've got to neutralize it. Again, it's all about this life cycle, water cycle system for these critters to have a safe tank. Additionally, they can't just be in a normal fish tank. They've got to be in a large tank. Lucy started in a 10 gallon tank and she outgrew that within a few, like the first three months. Um, and the reason why 10 gallons wasn't enough is because the water cycle was too hard to keep going and keep it correct and keep the toxic stuff in the nitrates to keep them balanced. So it was messing with her. Um, so we moved her to a 20 gallon tank. She is currently in a 20 gallon tank with two filters. A lot of people only do one filter um, I feel like the two filters has really just helped make the water cycle system better and easier for me to manage and take care of. So she has two large filters that cycle that water 24 seven. She also has a little air bubbler, which you'll see um, she plays on it and lays on it a lot of times. Her little air bubble that helps pump like oxygen and just kind of keeps that water moving and moving around. Again, a lot of this water cycle is, you know, you know, Lucy goes potty in there. She poops in there. We do suction it out. And anytime we see um, some of her waste in there, we'll remove it with a little squeezy thing and we remove it anytime we see it. There's also bacteria from uneaten food that we have to maintain and make sure we get rid of. Um, and then some people have plants and other things in their tanks that lead to decay of organic matter. We don't have that. I like to keep hers kind of more clear and clean um, and pristine. And I'm also so concerned about potential parasites being on any of the plants or living things that could go in her tank that we don't even, we don't go there with that. Um, all of her food is frozen food that we give her or pellets. And that works for us. A lot of people love that. Some people may not agree with the way we do it. But I do want to mention um, that pros of having an axolotl. They're super cool. They do learn your voice, so they'll come out to you and interact with you. Um, and it's so neat to watch them grow. Cons, you can't hold them. You're not allowed to touch them. It will mess up their slime coat. Um, and you can't take them out of the tank. You can't travel with them. They pretty much need to stay put in their gallon cycle, um, our 10 gallon, 20 gallon cycle tank 24-7. Um, another con is learning how to manage the water cycle 
that your axolotl is going to go through in the tank because a spike on nitrates or the ammonia or any of that can totally throw the entire tank off, which could cause me to have to restart the cycling process. And then she would have to be in a tub for those six weeks while I recycled the entire tank. Um, and that tub would have to be cleaned daily. Um, and she would also have to be kept in a fridge. And that's my last point is these critters require a certain temperature. Um, in Mexico, the water is below 65 degrees. Ideally, they're, they do better between 60 degree water and probably 63 degrees. So even 65 is a little, a little bit on the warm side for them. So, so you either need, depending on where you live, you're going to need a chiller or you'll have to hook up fans. And that's what we do here in the North Georgia mountains. Um, a, she's located in our basement, but B, we hook up fans to chill the water during the summer months when it gets really hot. So it's a lot more cumbersome um, and takes a lot of background knowledge and information in order to be able to own these creatures more than you would think. So although they're cool, and if you are responsible and good with this kind of stuff, go for it, get it. If not, you might wanna just get a betta fish or maybe even a goldfish because um, axolotls can be a, a lot of work. Um, but they are super cool and we do love our Lucy girl and I'm so grateful that we we have her. So, you know, there you go. All right, and we'll finish up our little video. Um, yeah, and that's Mr. Nate. He loves Lucy. Um, and we actually got Lucy for my oldest son's birthday. Um, so it's Gabriel's pet, but I think I'm more attached to her than the rest. So there you go. Hope you all learned a little something. Again, if you're going to own one, just be a responsible owner. Have a good day. Bye, friends.